investing in Amazon? Right. I know you guys are wondering, what is it that I'm talking about? So, been doing a little research. If anybody knows me, I've been investing in stocks since I was 14 years old. Thanks to one of my mentors and one my longtime friends and colleague, Freeman Osteen out of Pritchard, Alabama, who worked for Pritchard Housing Authority. He taught me this when uh, investing in my community was just a wild, wild hair idea. So let's talk about investing in Amazon. The reason why I label this post investing in Amazon or invest in Amazon question mark is, what if we all would have invested in Amazon? Let's do a little history recap. May 16, 1997, Amazon was listed, or stock was listed as worth $1.97. Fast forward to October 3rd of 2020, that stock now, one stock is $3,125. In essence, <laughs> hear me clearly, in essence, if you would have invested in Amazon in 1997, which, now granted, this would have been 23 years, you would have made over three time, 3,000 times your money. Or let's say, no, I'll take that back. 1,500 times your money. Because let's say $1.97, uh, $2, let's say 3,100, $3,197, it's 3,000, two divided in 3,000, 1,500. So, got to think, guys. So, what I, why did I post about this? Let's think about it. Why did I post about this? Because I think oftentimes people are, are very scared to invest in anything. And when I'm talking about investing, I'm not just talking about, you know, investing in stocks or investing in, investing in business from a monetary standpoint. I'm talking about investing essentially in yourself or investing in your business, whether it's education, whether that is um, learning a new skill, you know, getting a new certification, things of that sort. And what I basically come up with this formula or three questions that I ask myself, or three strategies that I employ. When somebody brings me this, this new idea, new business venture, new educational model or new way to make money, whatever it is, I come up with this three basic thing that I do. One, I hear them out. I hear them out, you know, give, give me a spill. Anybody should be able to give you their spill on something within five to 20 minutes. I talked to a mentor of mine, a good friend of mine, yesterday, and he was telling me about if somebody comes to you with an idea, they should be able to communicate that to you within 15, 20 minutes. If they're knowledgeable about it. If it's such a great idea, they've done their research. I mean, really two minutes in my book. I mean, Ray Dalio talks about we have a disagreement with somebody and do his book's principle. You know, give everybody, two, give them two minutes, and then you talk two minutes. Because you're not able to communicate in two minutes like something's wrong. Okay? So... Let's give them a benefit out, 15, 20 minutes. Then after you hear it out and it sounds somewhat plausible, do your research. At least spend, you know, three to 10 hours on just researching what they're talking about. Google is very powerful, guys. Second thing I would say is, if you know someone who's knowledgeable in this outside of the person who brought this to you, reach out to them. Schedule a coffee, lunch, dinner date. Let's say it costs you coffee, you know, six bucks, 10 bucks, depends on if you go to some fancy restaurant uh, or you go to lunch, it might cost you 20 bucks on lunch. Or if you go to dinner, it might cost you 30, 40 bucks and they get a steak or something like that. But think about it, that 10, 20, 30, 40 bucks would probably save you a lot of money on the back end in regards to, is this a new program or is this something that is exciting? You know, is it something that will benefit me in the long run? Or will, is it just something, some BS that somebody's talking about that would actually hinder you from moving forward, uh, that you'll lose some money out on. So now I'm not. I need you to hear me clearly. This is not something that I'm saying that you need to try to uh, invest in everything that you see, or go take this new course that everybody is talking about, or you know, where's a new product or anything like that. But also, I'm not saying I'm not saying to turn a blind eye to everything. And the reason why, once again, I titled this blog post or this YouTube post about investing in Amazon is in 1997, 23 years ago, you know, 23 years ago, I would have been 12 years old. Okay. Um, if somebody would have told me invest in this stock 
and it's gonna be worth three thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars. I'd probably be like, I don't know about that. And here's the thing: even in my research, I probably wouldn't have found out about it. So it's very important to say, okay, you know, work it out, rationale, get a group of people around you that are fluent in business and in investing in stocks. Same thing with, you know, a trade. Okay. When I first uh, started on becoming a lawyer, I had a lot of people that would say, you know, lawyers don't make any money, you know, right? But I mean, I've made a lot of money and not to brag on myself, but that was based on my research and having the gumption and having the, the, the honesty and the fortitude to say, okay, what is it gonna take for me to be successful and to provide for my family? And so, it's important to do research, but take do research and ask questions from somebody who's knowledgeable and who's going to provide some type of insight to you that is just not a blanket statement. Uh, I'll if you go back to some of my early YouTube pay, posts or videos or my blog posts, whatever. I often hear you, you often hear me talk about, you know, make sure you you have a great A team and surround yourself with good people. Because let's say. If you have somebody that's, and you tell somebody that you want to start a new business on child care because of COVID-19, okay, and you have a bad person in your circle that you try to bounce that idea in front of or to, and they say, oh, that's a bad idea. COVID-19, you know, stupid, blah, blah, blah. You have no experience. But you, if you bounce that against somebody who, it, who is a good, good fit for your group, even if they don't know anything about, um, uh, child care, what they would do is say, okay, all right, then Ronnie, what is it that is what is it is gonna take you to have a great child care? And what's a model that is you know you're gonna make money that makes financial sense for you and make financial sense for the parents who will be leaving the kids with you. What are the legal ramifications? What do you need to protect yourself legally? The whole nine yards. And oftentimes when you when you have good people in your corner, they're not always gonna tell you stuff that you want to hear. But also, if they know the true desires of your heart, true desires of your heart, and know what kind of person you are, they're going to push you, and shape and mold you in a way to be, you become successful. There's no air of jealousy, there's no air of pride, arrogance with each other. It's a it, it, it's a environment of where you're trying to cultivate each other to grow. And so, when you're talking about investing, not only your money, your time, your trades, your skill. It's important to understand these four principles. I said three, but I'm going to say four principles in regards to, hey, is this going to be the next Amazon? Are you going to be the next Amazon? So, you know, hey, vet, research, ask questions, and, and execute. If you find out that this is something that you are wanting to do or it seems like something that you might want to do, execute. Don't be scared to fail. Because oftentimes, that's where you you learn a lot is when you fail. But also, you know, you have people say fail fast, fail, fail fast, fail frequently, I think is what it is. And then you got to understand why they say that. It's because if you try enough time, you're going to eventually hit something. Guys, I've got, I hope that this YouTube YouTube video has helped you. Excuse my stuttering. I hope this YouTube video has helped you. Please follow me on all my social media. Feel feel free to like, share. No, don't feel free. Comment, like, share. You know, this stuff is free. Um, and uh, comment. Follow me. My social media is uh, Get Rice Now. That's G-E-T-R-I-C-E-N-O-W. -G 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 -E -E Log in on my website, RonnieOrice.com, or my YouTube page, which is RonnieOrice.com. Um, excuse me, RonnieOrice at YouTube. So thank you guys for listening. Hope you guys have a great week.